that men are failing to become leaders. We are in a downtrend in society. Hey guys, welcome back to the Man of War channel. Today I want to talk about why men are so soft. Every couple of months I read studies on men and statistics, divorce rates, um, people that are being hired within companies, and all I'm seeing is an uptick with women. Why? Because men have become soft. Women have become harder. Listen to what I just said. Men have become soft and women have become harder. Men are, are constantly failing. Why? Because they're giving in to what society makes them be. Soft, mushy, weak. They're the ones that sit in the passenger seat all the time and let the woman drive. They're the ones that have no backbone. Disloyal, dishonorable, lying sacks of shit, really. And I can say that with 100% certainty. You see, we as a man of war get somewhere in the neighborhood of around 700 to 800 applications every single month of men who at some point or another were very, very successful, high-level businessmen, but have lost that edge, have given up what they once were. They've abdicated their king's role. And the reason I believe truly why they have done that is because complacency has set in. They feel like there's no one that they need to be accountable to. There's no one that they really need to answer to at any time. Let their wife go out and work. Let her be the breadwinner. And it's all said and done. Sadly, driven men, successful men who are at a level that can be leaders are very far and few between. But I have one encouraging note here. I believe that this is the time when men start rising. Here at the Man of War and the Man of War Crucible, we're on a mission to build men. And what we are seeing is at the very least, men come to God, come to the wake up call and realize that even though they've abdicated their role as a king of their house, they can now become stronger with programs like the Man of War that will hold you accountable, that will help you become a stronger version of yourself every single day. All I can say is this, you have to want it bad enough. So what we're seeing is men who have made the commitment to change and to regain that mindset, that drive, that internal fortitude. Well, those men fare well. They go through the Man of War Crucible, they push hard, and then they unite a very powerful brotherhood. Their marriages are changed and their philosophy and leadership changes. They start finally leading from the front again. But it takes almost an act of God. It's almost like you have to call these men out on a consistent basis. It's almost like you have to constantly push these men and trigger them to be a better version of themselves. There is no need for men to be working, operating at 20, 30, 40%. It's a beautiful thing to see a man operating at the highest of levels. He exudes confidence. He exudes goodwill, passion, drive, and tremendous leadership skills. I'm asking you, if you're somewhere in that neighborhood where you've achieved a certain level of success and you've become complacent, the time is now. There is no better time than right here and right now to make a change. Figure out what you want to do. Have a goal, an objective, and attack it with every ounce of energy inside of you. I promise you, if you stay the course and you go out there and you start executing in everything that you do, and you have a mission plan, and you have that focus inside, all I can say is this, the chances of you becoming a strong man are very, very good. 
However, if you want to be a sloppy, lazy, weak-minded man, go back to your normal life. You will never be accepted as a warrior, certainly not in the man of war society. Men who are not willing to live with the discipline, with the intent, with the purpose, with passion, are not part of who we are. All right, my brothers, I want you to step up. I want you to make this change right here and right now. Stop procrastinating. Stop doing things tomorrow. Take that first step today and change your life. If you're getting value out of these conversations, because I'm speaking from the heart, there's nothing laid out. The guys here will tell you there's nothing laid out except me speaking from the heart. I'm going to ask you to do two things. Smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Of course, please like this video and share it. That would be really appreciated. We're building our YouTube page as it stands right now, this YouTube channel, and it's finally starting to build up very nicely because of you. May God bless you, and I'll see you on the other side.